All right, be careful. Don't fall into the mistake of thinking that the inertia matrix is only dependent on the body. You've got to have a coordinate frame specified. If you change the coordinate frame, the inertia matrix totally changes. Remember the parallel axis theorem? That means that when you translate the coordinate frame, the moments of inertia are different. And now it's bonus time. That's right. Let's think about that special case that we've seen when the inertia matrix is diagonal. This is a very special sort of coordinate frame. These, these axes are called the principal axes of the body. Now, it's a very cool fact that these principal axes always exist. There's some coordinate frame for your body in which the inertia matrix is diagonal and all the mixed moments vanish, even if your body's not symmetric. That is not obvious. That's very cool and it's very dreamlike. And you're having a dream, a dream of principal axes and eigenvectors. And when you leave this class, you'll go on to learn linear algebra, and you will learn about eigenvectors, these special directions that have as exemplars principal axes of the inertia matrix. You don't need to understand that yet, but someday, someday, you will.